With his greasy spit curl, spaghetti-like arms, and whiny voice, Andrew Squigman became an instant hit on the series Laverne and Shirley. David Lander, along with partner Michael McKean, created Lenny and Squiggy in the 1960s, but fame hit in 1976 when they were spotted by Penny Marshall. In the very first script of Laverne and Shirley, we were asked to write ourselves in. So we said, you mean you want us to write in Lenny and Squiggy? And we did. And we read it at the table, and everyone laughed. And we said, put it in the next scene, put it in the next scene. At one point, the show was so popular that dolls were sold featuring the four main characters. No, and we get our dolls, and the first thing, I was like in unison, all four of us, yanked the pants down on our, do on our respective dolls. Not on each other's dolls, mind you. We weren't kinky or fooling around like that, you understand. We, but our own dolls, we felt we had the right to yank the thing off, and we all realized we had the same bottom half. <laughs> Lander recovered from that trauma, but being typecast was not as easily overcome. When the Vernon Shirley went off the air, Lander found that many casting agents confused him with his TV character. I would go for an audition to play the part of a lawyer or an accountant or anything, and they said no. They thought I'd show up on a motorcycle with a black leather jacket and my hair greased and all that. But there is life after a hit series. David, his wife Kathy, and daughter Natalie live in the Hollywood Hills, and David works steadily. He was the voice of the head weasel in Who Framed Roger Rabbit and appeared recently in both David Lynch's summer TV series On the Air and Penny Marshall's film A League of Their Own. Lander is a big fan of his old co-star. I think she is the most talented marshal of them all, and, and that even includes Marshall McLuhan, who is one of my personal favorites. None of the series regulars, Cindy Williams, Michael McKean, or Lander, have matched the post-Laverne and Shirley success that Penny Marshall has. But that doesn't bother David. He just hangs in there and keeps on pitching.